Time now. It is 5 o'clock on this August 18th, 2049. On Monday afternoon, going into Monday evening. It's time now for the White Man Just Your PJ with the evening report. Monday evening, August 18th, 2014. Good evening, everybody. Our cricket is just at 5 o'clock here in North Massachusetts. Got a temperature up. 79 degrees with scattered clouds, humidity of 35%, with speed about 5 miles per hour, and dew point about 49 degrees, and visibly 10 miles. And we're seeing some uh, damp of little wet rain shots off the southeastern portion of Cape and Islands. There and a spotty rain shots been off central Maine and eastern Quebec and stretching in northern Scotia and eastern and central portions of Canada and stretching down the southeast central portions of. Print set it down. There are rain showers and storms from north central Wisconsin and eastern UP and Michigan and northern and central portions of Minnesota, north eastern Dakota, and up in the southern Manitoba and down in southwestern Ontario. And some spotty rain showers and storms from southern and eastern portions of Ohio, down from Virginia, down from eastern and western portions of North Carolina and Atlanta. Showers and storms from central Tennessee, down from northern Mississippi, down from Alabama, stretching in southern Georgia, and down through much of Florida. And a line of rain showers and storms from central and eastern portions of Texas. Eastern and northwestern portions of Oklahoma and Nafu, Arizona and New Mexico, up in Colorado, sub central portions of Utah, down for Wyoming and down for western Nebraska, and up in eastern Idaho, down for southern portions of Montana, and up in the north central portions of California. Here, Burns, Colorado, good afternoon, evening, 81 degrees with a light rain showers. Here, and a lot of rain showers in eastern portions of British coming in down the west central portions of Alberta. Here, Okay, take a look at our satellite loop here, and it shows a couple of spotty clouds coming up much to North Hampshire, up to Quebec, and Atlanta clouds from northern Maine, and switching it out from much of New Brunswick, and that to Atlanta, Canada, here, and eastern Nova Scotia. Atlanta clouds coming in the northern Great Lakes, and eastern Dakotas, up in the Manitoba, and up in the western Ontario, and Atlanta clouds from north central Saskatchewan, and Alberta, and Alberta, British coming in down the northwestern portions of Washington State, and Atlanta clouds coming in much of the Virginia and Carolina, Central and Kentucky, Tennessee Valley, then after Mississippi, Alabama, and then for the Gulf states here, and now in northern Florida. Spotty clouds covered from northwestern Arkansas, then for southwestern Missouri, then for eastern Oklahoma, and line of clouds covered from Mexico, stretching down for southern California, southern Nevada, western Arizona, and northern New Mexico, up to Utah, Colorado, number Wyoming, and then for southwest Montana, and northeastern Idaho, and north central portions of California here. Okay, take a look at the map situation here. We have. Uh, warm cold front from the Dakotas, couldn't net good warm front and stretch it down from Minnesota, then for Iowa, then for Illinois, then for the Ohio Valley, and stay straight front from the Ohio Valley from Central Indiana, then for Ohio, and a warm front from South Central Ohio, then for West Virginia, then for the North Carolina, cold front from South Virginia, Kevin, and up to the Nova Scotia, and up in the eastern portion of Quebec. Here, warm stay straight down for Wyoming, and cold front from Cairo, and a warm front down for Kansas, then in Missouri, and a front about from Western Oklahoma, and down for West Central Texas, and a front about from Western Mexico. For the bottom of Baja California, and for Southeast California, and for Southern Nevada, and for the bottom from North Central California, and to see. For the bottom from Utah, and for Southern Idaho, and for the bottom from Eastern Oregon and Washington, up in the British Columbia. Here, high pressure in Yellowstone Valley, Eastern Ontario, Western Colorado, and Gulf of Mexico. Low pressure in Western Carolinas and Southern Indiana, Western Kansas, and Northeastern North, North Dakota, and in Eastern Washington. Here, 77 degrees at Tempsonville and Boston. 79 out in. New York City, 81 out in Pittsburgh, it's 83 out in Washington, D.C., 81 in Chicago, 79 in Detroit, 85 in Minneapolis, 91 in Omaha, 87 in Kansas City, 91 in Dallas, 79 in Brownsville, Texas, 87 in Atlanta, 92 in Miami, Florida, it's 93 in Phoenix, 88 in Albuquerque, 88 in Denver, 91 in Salt Lake City, 99 in Las Vegas, it's 76 in Los Angeles, 69 in San Francisco, 78 in Seattle, and 82 in Great Falls, Montana. Current conditions in the region, we have 77 degrees at Tepsford and Boston, 74 out in Pittsburgh, 76 in Bedford, 75 in Beverly, 72 in Gloucester, 74 in Ainsbury, 77 in Boston, 72 in Worcester, 76 in Surbridge, 74 in Webster, 67 in Cape Cod Bay, 78 in Norwood, 76 in Taunton, 77 in Bedford, 72 in Plymouth, and in Parmesan, 70 in Falmouth, 73 in Chatham. 73 in Montevideo, 72 in the Nantucket, 68 in Cape Cod Bay, 75 in Block Island, 77 in West Philly, 73 in Smithfield, 872 in Long Island, 76 in Montauk, 78 in Nissup, 81 in New York City, 80 in Bridgeport, 77 in New Haven, 75 out in Denbury, 73 in Waterbury, 78 in Merndon, 
78 in Hartford, 78 in Winslock, 77 out in Springfield, 76 in Amherst, 76, 74 in Greenfield, 78 out in Pittsfield, 72 in North Hampton, 76 out in Albany, New York, 72 in Bennington, 69 out in Bradford, 72 in Keene, Hampshire, 71 in Chaffin, Hampshire, 71 in Concord, Hampshire, 71 in Manchester, Hampshire, 74 in National Hampshire, 74 in Boston, New Hampshire. Okay, let's take a look at our forecast of Scotch and Country. Slight risk of severe thunderstorms over the parts of the Upper and Mississippi Valley and heavy rain over the possible parts of the southwest. Severe weather is possible again as a cold front as it moves across the Upper and Mississippi Valley today. The assertion of a little energy will slide toward the Great Lakes with warmer vector precipitation and effect of the day. Surface swell in the cold front will drop southeast wind toward the middle of Mississippi and Ohio Valleys with showers and thunderstorms expected ahead of the front. While much of the mid Mississippi Valley and Central Plains will be kept one away and another, the Ohio Valley could see more organized thunderstorms tomorrow afternoon. The safe low level lapse rate will be yielding modest energy to the strong and severe thunderstorms to develop this afternoon. And in the southwest, the monsoon will be in the full swing over the next four days and at upper level low, taking them off the calf across the draw, truckle and moisture northward from the eastern Pacific. And then shots and thunderstorms will break out in the afternoon today and tomorrow across much of the southwest and into the Tomato West and it's straining just a lot. Along with the approach of mid level energy, will provide a plenty of ascent to get the convection going and even in a low keep low shear environment. While thunderstorms are not beyond that, the coverage will be sufficient enough to warn flash flood concerning with an ominous motion in place. Forecast discussion here in New England here, and it shows remain dry and stable until Wednesday, followed by a cooler pattern on Thursday and Friday with increase in clouds and then a chance of showers mainly over western New England and certainly in forecast for the weekend with regards to approximately coastal low of New England here and in the evening. We'll see northwest winds being in the mid as sea breezes along the immediate shoreline wash out of scattered Brooklyn cloud decks will be beginning to dissipate, making the way for mostly clear conditions. And the night weak surface will provide pressure. Settles across the region with dry air and substance aloft and expect mostly clear skies across the region with light and favorable winds. And while some scattered mid level cloud in this possible over in southwestern New England, overall expected a pretty chilly night with lows in the low 50s. A few spots will chill come out radiate radiate well, i.e., sheltered valleys of the Connect Connecticut River Valley and Southwest Massachusetts and Martha's Vineyard, and you can see lows around the upper 40s here. Okay, let us take a look at what is going on in the tropics here. Got 507 here. We have some shower activity associated with a weak and elongated area of low pressure. Considered about 1,000 miles east of the low southern utilities, remains slight, limited, and disorganized, and having five minutes with conditions that Become less favorable for, for tropical cycle and formation during the next few days. Formation chance for four hours. Low new 0% and formation chance for five days. Low 10%. Yeah. And the latest time, Karina 16.1 and north, 133.0 in the west. Max sustained winds, 6 miles per hour. Wind west southwest about 7 miles per hour. Yeah. And it's a tropical storm and it's a public advisory. A little stronger and location about 16.1 and north 133.0 in the west. About 1470 miles and 2370 kilometers east of Hello, Hawaii. Maximum same winds about 60 miles by 95 kilometers an hour. Present movement west southwest about 245 degrees at 7 miles by 11 kilometers an hour. Minimum of pressure 1,000 millibars at 2953 inches. Time no coastal watch the warnings in effect at about 2 p.m. Pacific time 21 UTC. The center and tropical storm Korea west located in the latitude 16.1 and north. 9 to 133.0 in the west. And Karina is moving toward the west southwest near 7 miles by 11 kilometers an hour. It's slower. West southwest winds with westward motion is expected during the next couple of days. And maximum same winds have increased to near 60 miles by 95 kilometers an hour. With higher gusts and north swing and changing the strength of its forecast during the next 40 hours. And tropical storm first winds extend out toward 80 miles, 130 kilometers from the center. And the expanded minimum set to pressure 1,000 millibars at 2953 inches. No hazard effect on land, dear. And tropical depression 12 e it's a 16.6 to the north, 171 to the west, 35 mile per hour wind gusts and wind west northwest about 6 miles per hour. And it's public advisory. Spawn depression moving slowly west northwest over the open Pacific location, 6.6 to the north, 170.9 to the west, about 680 miles, 109 kilometers southwest of the southern tip of Baja California. Much the same winds, 35 miles per 55 kilometers an hour. And present movement west northwest about 285 degrees at 6 miles per 9 kilometers an hour. And minimum central pressure 1,005 millibars at 29.68 inches. There are no closer watches, warnings, in fact, at 2 p.m. Pacific time, 21 UTC. The center of tropical depression 12 e has located near latitude 16.6 in the north, latitude 117.9 in the west. The depression is moving toward the west northwest near 6 miles per 9 kilometers an hour. This is a general motion is expected to continue tonight. A turn toward the northwest of the forecast for to occur tomorrow, and followed by a turn toward the north Tuesday night and the Wednesday. Maximum same winds are near 35 miles per 55 kilometers an hour with higher gusts. 
It grabs a straight minute it's forecast and the depression is expected to come out. Tropical storm later denied on Tuesday. The expected estimated minimum central pressure is 1,005 millibars at 29.68 inches here. In, that sh in a tropical wave over Panama and Costa Rica expected to move westward in the development of a low pressure area south of the Gulf of Tehuantepec by Thursday. Additional development under the system is likely later this week while the low moves west northwards to the world offshore at the coast of the southwestern Mexico. Four inch chance for four hours. Low near zero percent information chance for five days. High near six percent. Here. Take a look at our Pacific Trump outlook here. Both a low pressure about 875 miles east southeast of Hilo, Hawaii is nearly stationary. There are no thunderstorms near the center of the system. Thunderstorms are located along the northeast and east property where the circulation is directed with the circulation of Karina. Infrared and invisible imagery shows sediment and easterly shearing near and environmental conditions, especially at low levels, are conducted for the development of during the next couple of days. Formation change for us. Low near 0% and weak low pressure area about 800 miles south of Honolulu, Hawaii has been moving west slowly and wind shear at the upper levels of the atmosphere is likely. Prevent further development into the system over the next two days and formation chance of four hours. Low near zero percent. Okay, let's take a look at tonight's lows. We can see 60s from much of the region from the 95 quarter from Boston down through Philadelphia. We're seeing a low in 73 around the D.C. area and seeing 65 in southeastern Pennsylvania while seeing some 50s in Met the West Boston and then Western New England and up in the Northern New England. We could see some 50s. Uh, where 40s could be the case from Western Maine up to much of New Hampshire, Vermont, Western Massachusetts up in the upstate New York. Here we can see temperatures around the 40s and the 50s from the Springfield Hartford area here. Okay, let's take a look. Got a view from the outside here. I'll open the door, and it shows a beautiful, beautiful evening in store. Yeah. The fall preview is coming, as we're going to have temperatures near the 50s. Some spots could reach the 40s here. Okay, let's take a look at our seven-day forecast. It goes like this. And if you're going to Fenway Park for the Red Sox game against the Los Angeles Angels, Another winner in the weather department there. Sunshine and beautiful weather in store. Lows around the 60s there, so it'll be perfect night for a baseball game here. And bring your light jacket or sweater away because in case because it's gonna get a little chilly by the end of the game here. Okay, seven day forecast goes like this for tonight. Most of Chris got low and fitting one degrees and calmly and becoming northwest man. Five miles by the midnight. Tuesday, sand sky and there's 80 degrees and light north wind. Tuesday, night patch about after 1 a.m. arrives. Mostly clear sky alone, 52 degrees. And it's upward about 5 miles gram and common in the evening. Wednesday, sand sky and there's 80 degrees and calm wind becoming east and 6 miles by the afternoon. For the night, parka sky alone, 56 degrees. And southeast wind about 5 miles gram and common in the evening. Thursday, slight chance of showers and put sand sky and there's 36 degrees and chance of persuasion to 20%. For the night, mostly clear sky alone, 60 degrees. And Friday, Parts of Sands got under 75 degrees and Friday night, most of Class got alone 59 degrees. Saturday, parts of Sands got with a high near 73 degrees and Saturday night, Park Class got alone 59 degrees. Sunday, parts of Sands got under 73 degrees. Sunday night, most of Class got alone 59 degrees and for Monday, parts of Sands got under 76 degrees. Pitters, what a phrase of the night. Oh, clear, still clear, 9 on tap. Peter Channel News Time 513 here and it is time now for a little travel report on this. Monday evening after work here and we're gonna turn on the traffic and let's start it off in downtown Boston here we're the southeast expressway on the southbound side slow from the tunnels all the way down to the split here northbound side is a little slow around Morsey Boulevard and Tippin Hill Tunnel slow very slow on the southern end, a little slow on the northern end, and mass back on the east band side from 93 down to Ted Williamson a little slow. 93 south on a little slow from Semler Square and Somerville down to the Zakin Bridge. 93 on the northbound side, slow from Semler Bridge all the way up to Medford doing an exit on 93 northbound. New Route 60 in 
in Medford Hills, or trust us, we have extra time in that area here. 129 step on side, so from 95 in Peabody, all the way down to Reading, doing an accident on 129 the step on side near Route 28 in Reading here, and 129 on the north on side, a little so from Route 3 in Burlington, all the way down to Reading here. 120 northbound a little slow around from 28 to 225 in Lexington near and 95 120 on the southbound side slow from the pike all the way down to Dedham here stop and go traffic here route 3 northbound stop and go from Burlington to Bill here and 95 93 on the southbound side a little slow stop and go from around the long stretch from 495 to 113 doing an incident on 113 and the 93 southbound here and 495 on the northbound side stop and go one launch Stop and stop and go from Lawrence all the way down to Lowell and for 95 North Lowell Soul ran from Chelmsford all the way down to Tewksbury here. <laughs> 95 Stop and Lowell Stop and Go ran 120 in Norwood on the stop and side of 95. 95 Stop and Go from 140 to 495 in Foxborough. 49 495 on the stop and side of Lowell Soul from Route 9 to Mass Pike in Westbury and Mass Pike westbound and after the new approach route 9 exit 12 in Framing Dam, so trust us from extra time there is Mass Pike a little slow on the westbound side from Weston Dam for Natick and Mass Pike westbound slow up to past 495 in in Westbury and 299 southbound side of Worcester here. A little slow around downtown Worcester here. Mm -hmm. Route 25 in the north bands on Route 25 in the east band side. An incident here. According to New England incident alerts here. Heavy traffic in the area of the east road really. Due to vehicle roll over, no injuries, but traffic on all areas was being impacted, including Scenic Highway, Bourne Bridge, Main Street, and Route 25. And in that area right there, so. If you're in that area, try to allow some sub to do it. So it's 25 east back up to the Route 6. 20 northbound slow down the rotary. And Route 6 bypass Route 6 slow to approach the Bourne rotary here. But otherwise, Route 6 more from Sagmore all the way down to Harwich. 24 on the northbound side slow from Dyke to 140 in Taunton. 495 on the southbound side a little slow around 24 south a little slow around 495 in Rainer Okay, take a look at our Rhode Island traffic outlook here, and it shows 95 southbound slow from the Midwest Grove to protect it all the way down for downtown Providence. 95 northbound slow from the airport connector in TF Green all the way down for downtown Providence here. 195 in eastbound side a little slow around East Providence here, and 195 95 in an accident on 195 with 95. So trust us with extra time in that area. And 610 connector between just from Route 6 to the 95 here. 295 is more than fine from. Alabama down for Warwick here, and both sides at 146 northbound a little slow from 295 to 99, and Route 4 and side a little slow around North Kingstown here. A good commute on store on this Monday evening here, and Peter Channel News time, we got 518 town out for the Peter Channel News done. Evening report on this August 18, 2049, Monday. Good evening, everybody. I'm Peter Wiggins. It is what's happening here. In Ferguson, Missouri, Missouri Governor Jake Nixon lifted curfew for the St. Louis suburb of Ferguson on Monday and began deploying National Guard troops to help quell the days of random and protests spurned by the fatal shooting of a black unarmed teenager, Michael Brown. Here, President Obama also announced on Monday that Iraqi and Kurdish security forces backed by U.S. airstrikes have captured the vital Mosul Dam from Islamic militants. In Austin, Texas, no arrest warrants is issued for Texas Governor Rick Perry after a grand jury indicted him on the two felony charges of coercion and abuse of official capacity. Tampa Bay Rays, David DeHistis gets a bucket of ice dumped on his head from video coordinator Chris Fernandez, the part of the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge before a game against the Yankees on Sunday at St. Pete. President Obama announced, oh, we already did that here. The worst ever Ebola outbreak is trained in the finance of affected governments with zero due and using treasury bills to fight in the fight for against the virus as mining companies halt the operations to protect workers. Police responded to the flame livestock market in Littleton, Massachusetts on Sunday afternoon because a 74-year-old man was scored by an out-of-control bull. 
Rock and a mortar fire on Monday hit a convoy bus that filled with civilians trying to evacuate an area for heavy fighting near the surrounding city of Lawrence in eastern Ukraine burned people alive in a vehicle the Ukrainian government said. Palestinians stand by what was left at the home of Amr Abu Asic, one of three Palestinians identified by Israel as suspect in the killing of three Israeli teenagers after a demolished by the Israeli army in the West Bank city of Hebron on Monday. WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange said he's planned to leave the Ecuador embassy in London soon after living there for about two years to report expedition to Sweden. New Delhi's decision in canceling the Indo-Pakistan Foreign Secretary talks of a level found by the Pakistan High Commissioner on Abdul Basit's meeting with the separatist Shariat leaders has put up, but question mark over motive Sharif's talks scheduled during the UN General. Pope Francis on Monday endorsed a military action to stop Islamist militants from attacking religious minorities in Iraq, a pronouncement that goes against the century of a pop and against the use of the force. In Washington, President Barack Obama gave a statement on an ongoing situation in Ferguson, Missouri. Whoa, protesters have been demonstrating since the August 9th death of Michael Brown, an unarmed black teenager killed and shot by a police officer. In Washington, James Jefferson stopped spoken spoken Vermont, who was the faction of the Republican Party in 2001, created an and president's power shift in the U.S. down at the age of 80. Chris Ridley, the suspected lover of missing Marine Wap Aaron Corwin, was been arrested in Alaska and suspected killing Corwin. U.S. stocks hung on his shop, gained five the afternoon as tensions eased in Ukraine and European stage of recovery. We'll have more that stocks in a couple of minutes, eh? New York, U.S. and European stock prices surged surge on Monday, taking the leading U.S. equity to index to a 14 year high as investors breathe easier over the Ukraine cost of a crisis that knocked oil prices to lows not seen in the more than a year. The stock market rallied on Monday with a Nasdaq closing at 14 year high as increasing confidence among home builders and hopes for receding tensions in Russia and Bolton. Investors in an equity market. Facebook has been con- making certain fake news stories with a satire tag so that users can more easily determine between fake and real news. Eh? They ignore no more app allows parents to disable their child's phone and they refuse to answer calls from home. The scrap pad allows parents to take the cuteness factor up a notch for all those. Emil Esteban and Goya Esteban posed during the On Your Feet story of Emil Goya Esteban brought him announcement at Minsk on Monday, May 20, 2014, in New York City. As they set a launch date for the Get On Your Feet story. J.K. Rowling's newest original content penned for the website Pottermore forces the silly son of Warbeck, an offstage character whose songs are heard in the Potter novels, although the singer makes, never makes an actual appearance. Too much time around vampires, that may be the case of the true blood actor Jim Park, who was in the minute that he was in George, drinking a little bit of blood. Marvel started shooting Ant Man in Monday in San Francisco. Maybe they'll cross paths with Godzilla or some of those crazy tech names and accent and make the greatest movie of all time. The fourth and final Grand Slam tennis tournament of this year starts next week with the world's best players governing the United States. Here are the NASCAR Sprint Cup money leaders. Brent Kozlowski, $5,025,968. Jeff Gordon, $4,088,022. Dale Earnhardt Jr., $4,607,099. And Jimmy Johnson, $4,652,352. Calls to us pitch five scores in it for the New York Mets that makes decision as the Chicago Cubs defeat the New York Mets 4 1 at City Field. A, a pair of Russian cosmonauts began the work week on Monday, floating outside the International Space Station to toss out a small satellite for a university in Peru. A new video demonstrates how close SpaceX is to have a truly reusable rocket, but the video shows that the Falcon 9 rocket splashed down the ocean after it delivered six satellites to space. A cure for alopecia areata, which causes hair to fall out of red patches by the RVB of the rocket for treatment of board bearer disease. Rates of development and mental disabilities range from speech problems of tense and deficit hyperactive disorders to jump to 21% among us. Of the U.S. Despite potential risk and limited benefits, many Americans are still screened for cancer toward the end of lives, according to a new study. Take a look at what is going on in the knee. New England incident alerts here on this Monday evening and it shows. Yentek, Norwich, Connecticut. 395 northbound between the exit A2 and A3. A vehicle fire 17 minutes ago and units on the scene reported one vehicle fully involved. I mean, it's in critical condition after it was shot by work police following a chase and a shootout on Monday afternoon. A 27 year old resident of Brandenburg is suspected of an attempt to rob the Walmart on Route 119 on Monday morning in Hinsdale, New Hampshire. Here. And state police make arrests and seize illegally possessed firearm low as yesterday morning. Trooper Douglas stolen at Trooper A. 
action team was on patrol in the street in the city of Lowell when observing Nissan Altima turn on the butterfly committed a motor vehicle violation. After investigation conversation, the four occupants of the vehicle, a passenger was found to be in legal possession of loaded Smith and Weston 40 caliber handgun. The man was found to have an outstanding warrant from an district court for a previous assault with a dangerous weapon offense. A second passenger was found to be in that standing warrant or two from Lowell district court for a previous assault charges and attempted murder from June 2013. Both men were taken into custody by Trooper Dolan, assisted by Trooper Scott Quigley, David Strong, and Lowell Police at Sir Jim Murray, Lowell Police Major Crime Division, also the city street. So, tip of the hat. Well, job well done here. Stock market report. Dow Jones close 68.3.74, up 175.83. SP 597.74, up 60.68. Nasdaq 458.31, up 43.39. European markets here. DAX 9245.33, up 132.33. FTSA 641 and a quarter, up 32.17. And CSA 40, 42.30.65, up 56.29. In the Asian markets here, Nikkei 15322.60 up 4.26, Shanghai 2239.47 up 12.73, HSI 24935.46 up 52 here. Oil 9664 down 31 cents, Brent 101.76 down 137, and natural gas 3.79 up 14 thousandths of a point. In the gold, 1298.20 down 8, 719.585 up 6 hundredths of a point, and Copper 3.113 thousandths, up 100 of a point. In the bond there, US 10 year yield 2.3944, up 49 thousandths of a point. Germany 10 year yield 1.0117, up 3 thousandths of a point, and 1 thousand point up on the Japanese 10 year yield to close at 501 thousandths of a point percent here. European US dollar 1.3362 unchanged, US dollar Japanese yen 102.54, down 200 of a point, and Great Britain pound US dollar 1.6727, up 1 thousand of a point. That's going to be with the Magician PG Channel News, the evening report on this Monday, August 18th, 2014. PGA with you, brother. Good day and a good evening with a good positive tour. See you at 11. Have a good evening.